All right, everyone. Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us for this presentation. It's my pleasure to introduce Tom Sosnoff. Tom's the founder and co-CEO of Tasty Trade. To our wonderful viewers, if you have any questions for Tom today, please type them into the live chat box where his associates will be happy to assist you. And with that said, Tom, I'll hand the mic on over to you. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Thanks, Charlie. Appreciate it. Hello, everybody, and thanks so much for um, thanks so much for joining this afternoon. Love the love to be back on the Money Show circuit. Some hopefully someday we'll be back live at the various events all over the country, and hopefully you guys will come out as well because um, I miss doing those live events and I miss the Money Show events. And uh, hopefully we'll be back in 2023. Um, we just started getting back on the road, so if you are not familiar with Tasty, we um, we do road shows all over the country, all over the world. And our next one is actually in New York City on October 22nd. It's free. It's in Midtown. It's at the Gramercy Theater on 23rd Street. And if you would like to come by and see what we're calling the Bad Trader Tour, um, it's myself, six other of the content creators at Tasty Trade. And um, it's an amazing show. It's great. It's fun. It's only two hours long. It's in the morning, starting at 9 a.m. So if you want to come out and check it out, you can go to Tasty Trade um, on the Tasty Trade site. You can find the spot to sign up for it. Or you can drop an email to support at tastytrade.com if you want to come out to New York. It's the last show we're doing, I believe, in 2022. Um, in addition to that, if you have any questions from today's show, please fire them into the chat right now from today's webinar. Fire them into the chat. Um, Peter and Christian both from our trade desk at Tastyworks are on the chat. They are very knowledgeable. They are licensed. They are clear of the concept. Nothing is off limits. You can ask questions about strategy. You can ask questions about, about um, underlines. You can ask questions about opening an account. You can ask questions about you know, different rules or whatever, anything you want um, or mechanics, they're happy to answer. So again, Christian and Peter are on, they're asking, they're answering questions real time. And um, fire off as much as you can. Keep them busy because that always makes for for better chat. I don't. I do not look at the questions because then I get distracted. And and in order to give you the best um, experience, um, I really just want to focus on on giving a chat. And lastly, if you have any questions for me and you want to reach out to me after today's chat, my email is tom at tastytrade.com. That's just tom at tastytrade.com. I am the uh, founder of Tasty, um, Tasty Trade, Tasty Works, the whole ecosystem that we have here. And um, I think I'm still the CEO. I'm not sure what the current uh, pecking order is, um, but I am kind of a junkie at doing this. I've been doing this for a long time. I, I love what I do. That's why I still do it. Um, I can't imagine ever doing anything else in my life. So um we're going on a little over four decades of this and four decades of trading, four decades of three decades of building technology and really two full decades of, of creating content. So um, hope you like, we're gonna, it's a short presentation today because we only have 30 minutes of which I'm using about three minutes to do this introduction. But in the next you know, 27 or so minutes, we'll try to get as much as we can out there Sometimes I talk too fast. Sometimes I cover too much stuff. So I'll try to slow down a little bit today. But again, if you have any questions, just email me, tom at tastytrade.com. So about 23 years ago, I had an idea. We were trading in the S&P 100 pit, which was the, um, at the time they called it the OEX. It still exists today, but it's not nearly the same size pit as it was, you know, um, 20 some odd years ago. In fact, at one time, it was the largest trading pit in the world. And that's where I, I lived in there for about 20 years. And it's where I learned the business. And in 1999, we decided the business was going electronic. So we're going to go build a brokerage firm. So we built a firm called Thinkorswim, which is now the primary platform at Schwab. But um, we sold it to TD. We were a public company. We sold it to TD in 2009. And then TD was bought out by Schwab. So that platform still exists today. It was an amazing platform. We built it. And it was my lifeblood for a long time. I mean, it was, it was blood, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat, and that went into that platform. And uh, it's funny, but today I logged into the um, platform to, to because I just still maintain an account over all these years. I don't use it for trading anymore. And I looked at the platform. I'm like, wow, 
this platform's held up pretty well for 20 years, but it looks old. I am, I got to look at, I got to really look at the stuff, you know, that we're building now. You, people have to take a look at the things we're building now because the stuff is so incredible, so much different. And I then logged into Tasty this morning, Tasty Works, took a look at the platform and like, you know what? Like we've come so far, we've simplified things so much. And I think one of the things I wanted to do today was kind of take you through, I know that the description of the show said um, something to do with earnings, but it's not really earnings season right now. So what I'd rather do is talk to you about um, markets, highly volatile markets and opportunities in bear markets and opportunities in highly volatile markets. Currently, and you can see this right here um, today, this where my cursor is right now, hopefully you can see my cursor, I'll spin it around a little bit. Well, this is what we call VXM is the is the volatility futures. Now, the nice thing about Tasty is obviously we show all the all the markets we support stock. We're the only platform in the world that supports stock options, futures, futures options, crypto, any strategy in any account type. That's the beauty of Tasty. And one of the products we support is our, you know, are the volatility futures. Now, I don't care about trading the volatility futures, but just as something to watch, just to give you an idea of where we are, the volatility futures today closed at 31.25. The long-term, if we go back 30 years, the long-term norm for volatility futures is, and this is S&P 500, um, is somewhere in the 15 and a half to 16 and a half range. And they're currently trading at, you know, 31.25. So they're almost double the long-term kind of average. If we look at them on a shorter term, like last 10 years, last 12 years since 2008, you know, since or last 14 years since 2008, the average gets up to about 18 and a half. But we're still trading at 31 right now. So you're talking about volatility futures that are about 60% higher um, than than kind of historical averages. Whether you look at short-term historical historical averages, which let's call it, you know, 12 to 14 years or long-term, which is, um, let's call it, you know, a little over 30 years. So that's interesting to start with. Why? Because when volatility is expensive, you actually take less risk selling volatility than when it's cheap. The biggest outlier risk, what's the biggest risk when you, that you face as a trader or as an investor? It's outlier risk. It's unquantifiable fat tail risk. And when you look at volatility futures, those give you a real measure of where opportunity is based on fear. If you believe in the basic premise that fear is overpriced, which I do, then volatility gives you a good indication of the level of opportunity that's out there. And when volatility is trading at 50, 60, or 100% over long-term normal averages, you have to think to yourself, well, fear, you know, remember, fear is not like price. Fear is mean reverting. Price is not, but fear is. So when you think about mean revert, mean reversion, and you understand that mean reversion is just a math equation, and you understand that finance is generally based on price, not subject to mean reversion, but volatility, which is a measure of fear, is a mathematical equation that is subject to mean reversion. And you have to think to yourself, hey, you know what? This opportunity is really interesting right now. And so for that, I'm just showing the only reason I showed you this is the average, because what does that essentially mean? Well, when you get volatility that is one and a half times or you know, over one and a half times normal levels, that means that prices are prices for derivatives like options are super inflated. It also means that there's probably some trouble out there. And right now you see a lot of trouble. I'm just going to take my cursor and continue to show you some of the trouble spots. Obviously, bonds. Um, are an amazing trouble spot because this is one of the ugliest pictures you've seen. This is a chart of the 30-year bond. We have never seen anything like this ever in the 30-year bond. And we essentially haven't had an uptick in bonds since the summer. And we've gone from up here, which is almost, you know, talking um, where we got I, I want to say this is, well, this, this top in here is you know, the 140, 145, 146 level. We're down to 124 right now, which is just a massive move in a low vol 30-year bond. But um, bonds have taken down the stock market to a certain extent. And 
one of the cool things that we do in Tasty is we are indifferent to product. We are indifferent to strategy, but we are focused on facilitating opportunity. So I consider it my role or, or basically my purpose here is to create technology that allows individuals like everybody that's listening today, all you guys out there listening today, my job is to create technology that facilitates opportunity, which means it's to let you trade whatever you want to trade using whatever strategy you want to do to take advantage of whatever you believe is opportunity out there. And right now, opportunity in some cases is twice as great as it's been for a long period of time. And in many other cases, it's 50 to 75% as great. And if you talk about high beta stocks, it may be three times as great. So it's a very good time to be a do-it-yourself investor or a self-direct investor or an opportunist using the financial markets. You can see, I just showed you, this here was a chart of bonds. If you look at other products, like you know how everybody knows how strong um, uh, the US dollar is. So if we look at something, just to give you an example of, of an underlying that's been absolutely crushed, I'm gonna look at uh, the Japanese yen. And this is a chart of the Japanese yen. So we talk about certain commodities that have just had a really hard time this year. Well, the Japanese yen hasn't had an uptick the entire year. The US dollar has been on a tear. The nice thing about Tasty is we let you trade any one of the currencies. If you want to trade the Japanese yen, the Canadian dollar, the Aussie dollar, the Euro, the British pound, you can trade them all. If you want to use futures, futures options, equities, doesn't matter to us. And so this is just another little graph of just showing you some of the markets that have become very opportunistic with this move. Other people like certain markets that are um, maybe a little bit more, they're more familiar with. This is the gold market. Um, you can see forward slash GC. These are just, I'm using futures right now, but we'll get into options in a few seconds. These, this is the gold market. It hasn't had an uptick since all the way back, it looks like in March topped out in March, it's been going straight down since March. These are, these are underlyings where, again, the volatility is heightened and heightened volatility, low basis. This would be the perfect scenario for covered call if you like gold. If you like silver, it's gonna be basically the same thing. Some people go, well, I mean, I'm not crazy about both of those. So take me to something different. This is crude oil, another ugly looking chart. And we can go across the board. I mean, you can go to natural gas, I'm just taking you through a bunch of commodities right now, but you can go to natural gas. You say, you know what? I don't like natural gas because there's too much volatility in there. So I'm going to, so take me to something with less volatility that's ugly. This is the Aussie dollar. Okay. And we can go, hey, you know what? I don't want that. I want to go back to those bonds that you showed me before, but I'm too nervous about trading bonds. So you know what? Take me to a 10 year note, which is half the risk of bonds. The challenge in the financial space is not, um, well, one of the challenges is taking risk, but one of the other challenges is just improving your know-how so you understand products, mechanics, and strategies, because then you have an opportunity to take care, to take advantage potentially of some of this stuff. Take advantage of like, just look at this for a second. This is the 10-year notes. This, these contracts, they traded 2 million contracts. This is one of the most liquid products in the entire world. The option marketplace is one tick wide. Is 10 year notes, I will go out to the next um, option cycle, which is November. And if you look in here, this is just the volume for today. Thousands at every single strike. These are futures options. Here are the puts, this is the volume. Thousands at every strike. If you wanted to do something, and let's just say you want to take advantage of a position in the 10 year notes, you said, you know what? I think bonds are crazy oversold because it's totally reasonable to think bonds are crazy oversold. So let's just take you through a couple of little things here. One thing you can do is you can say, you know what? I'm going to sell a put at the, and the reason I'm using futures options is because they're still open in some cases. Um, I'm going to sell a 110 put, which is right near the at the money strike. And against it, I'm going to sell a further out of the money call. So I'm going to sell a put for one, um, 125. And I'm going to go down here and sell a put for a, a lot less, like 44, I mean, a call for, for 44 ticks. So we call this an unbalanced. This is an unbalanced 
strangle. A 41 delta put, a 28 delta call, this is a net long position. And you can see the mid price here is 207. And if I enter this at 207, I'm probably not gonna be filled. But if I click on this, hit replace order and go down to 206, which is giving up one tick, one tick, I got filled. Every single trade in here is gonna be one tick. By the way, that's a real trade. That's not like some just, that's not some virtual trade or some paper trade. Those are real trades. I sold the 110 puts and the um, 113 and a half calls. I did this, that's called a skewed strangle. Now I'm gonna show you some things in the notes because this is a very liquid marketplace. And it's also, these are interesting trades to take advantage of what I think is an extreme oversold condition along with really high volatility that's measured by this number up here, which is your implied volatility rank, which shows you where implied volatility is on a scale of one to 100. And it's at almost 70 right here, which is crazy high. So let's say, you know you know what, I'm nervous about the down move, but I, I like this, but I don't wanna give away any upside. So I'm gonna look at a trade where potentially I can do a Jade Lizard, where I can sell, let's say the 109 puts, and on the upside, I'm gonna sell the 113, 114 call spread. I'm gonna collect 121. My risk to the upside is only, uh, only one. So I'm 21 ticks credit over my risk to the upside. So I have no upside risk. In this case, I'm selling a put and an upside call spread. This is called a Jade Lizard. This is another way to take advantage of giving yourself some, um, some upside delta with no upside risk. My last trade actually had upside risk, but it was skewed to the upside. This trade, I'll enter again. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot. You can't enter the um, a Jade Lizard on uh, commodity options. So hold on one second. I will just sell the call spread first. And then I will go out again and sell the put. And the put here was the... Um, let's just see, was the 109 put, let's sell that. Um, hold on one second, I'll just do this trade. So I put them in basically at mid price, I'm gonna give up a tick to get filled on both sides, just so you can see this trade. And now I filled the Jade Lizard. Now the next trade, so I did, I've done a Jade Lizard and a skewed strangle. The next trade we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in this underlying, but we're going to think about this for a second. What if I just want to do something really basic? This thing has been annihilated. Let's just say I wanted to buy the underlying, okay, buy notes, so I'm filled, and do and just sell a call against it, because this is the equivalent of a covered call. Filled. Now, again, these are instantaneous fills. Do you know what Tastyworks is? It's the only platform in the world that is built on high frequency middleware. So these trades that I just made, right here, I'll show you. These are all the trades I just made in the 10-year note. These are the trades I just made the 10-year note. They're all just one lots in the 10-year note. I never gave up more than one tick and each fill was about 25 milliseconds in time. Um, I did a covered call, a Jade Lizard and a skewed strangle. And let's say you say, you know what? That's good. That's cool, Tom, but it's it's a little risky for my blood. So I want to do something a little less risky. So I would like to sell a, let's just call it an iron condor. I'm going to sell an iron condor where the where the put side is a little closer to at the money than the call side. So I'm going to sell a richer put and a, a little bit less richer call spread. So this is an iron condor. It's one point wide. We're collecting just about one third the width of the strikes. I'm gonna enter it at mid price again. And this time I got filled at mid price. That's why you enter at mid price. Because sometimes you get filled right, right dead smack in the middle at mid price. So in a very short period of time, in a couple seconds, I just put on four positions real time in the 10 year note. I did an iron condor with a small skew to the upside. I did a jade lizard small skew to the upside. I did a skewed strangle, small skew to the upside. And I did a covered call, long bias position. All of those positions are designed to take advantage of the expensive premium in here. Because believe it or not, 10% implied volatility in November is much higher than it normally is. 
In fact, it's in the 70, it's ranking 70 out of one to 100, which is extremely high for notes. And each one of those trades had a little bit of long delta in a market that I feel is grossly oversold. Now, a couple of cool things about Tasty. One, you saw the high frequency technology in action as I put those trades on. Second, you saw that all the trades that I just did in the 10-year note just showed up in the here. And all my positions just showed up here. And everything I did portfolio-wise was right here in the middle of the page. If you noticed, I never even went to a different page. The beauty of Tasty is you can do anything you want in stocks, options, futures, crypto, all for this, all from the same layout. Like let's just say right now, because I'm only trading what's currently open. Remember the, the stock market and the um, option markets, listed option markets are closed. So right now what's open are the futures markets still and, and the crypto market. So let's say, for example, you know, one of the beauties of Tasty is you can go right from this page and go right to a crypto marketplace if you want to. I have different cryptos set up in here, but you know, I might want to look at Solana or Ether, or in this case, Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin's had some crazy moves today, but let's just say I want to buy a little Bitcoin this afternoon. I just go to this page right here, just take a look, click on buy, put a number in here. I'll put $100 in here and I'll buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. Let me go back to all symbols. And here, let me show you this for a second so you can see this. So if I go to Bitcoin here, um, these are my fills. Uh, let's just see. No, 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 no. Um, let me change that. Go back to working orders. And um, I'm going to, in this case, you know what? I haven't bought any Solana in a while. I'll buy a little Solana. And you'll see the fill. This is my fill message up here. So I didn't have all symbols clicked on. So if I buy some more Solana, you can see it here, it'll pop up there and it's filled. It's just really quick. Everything happens really fast on the platform. But I just bought $200 worth of Solana and $100 worth of Bitcoin. Now, it's irrelevant what I trade. We have 27 different digital currencies on the platform. And it's fairly irrelevant which one I trade. Like, I mean, you can basically pick your poison. It doesn't matter. They all are highly correlated in this market move. What I wanted to show you is from the same interface, we go from one underlying to another underlying back to the same layout. And what's cool about that is if I decided, hey, you know what? Um, I want to trade something. Let's just say I wanted to do something like I thought, here's a stock that's really been beaten up, Intel. I don't trade Intel very much. It's down in the 20, it's actually in the 26 handle. Just to give you an idea of what Intel looks like. I mean, talk about an ugly chart. That's an ugly chart. Now, I'm not a technician. I don't care about technical analysis at all. I'm only pulling up these charts just to give you an idea of what, how bad some of these stocks look. And Intel is one of these stocks. Now, the Intel market, the stock market in Intel is actually open right now. So if I wanted to buy, let's say, you know, some stock after hours, I could go up here. I could click on this. And for example, I can go to extended hours and I can buy hundred shares of Intel, which I just did. Um, and again, all these are real trades. And you can see it up here, hundred shares of Intel, but I can't trade any options in there till tomorrow. But the cool thing about this, if you notice, this is the exact same layout that I had with the treasury notes. So if I wanted to do a Jade Lizard in Intel tomorrow morning, and I wanted to sell the 24 puts and an out of the money call spread, I would do the exact same thing and it doesn't matter what the underlying is. That's cool. And if I wanted to see it in a different view, like a curve mode, we call it, here's my Jade Lizard. Short, short the, um, short the call spread above, short the put below. Okay. And um, in this case, you know, no risk to the upside. Obviously, risk if the stock goes down below, you know, in this case, $23, because I'm collecting 112. So it's a 24 put minus 112. So it's um, uh, 22, uh, 2288 would be my break even to the downside. But the important thing here is you can see it on this platform in different views. You can trade right from a curve mode or you can go back to a table mode. You can also trade from the charts. You can also trade from an active trader platform. You can also trade from a pairs trading interface. But all the interfaces, everything is built right into this same layout. So as soon as you 
as soon as you type in Intel or click on Intel over here, Intel pops up here, Intel positions pop up over here, Intel um, orders, which I didn't do any today, would pop in over here, or all your activity for Intel would pop in over here, and everything looks the same. What's also cool about this platform is that Jay Lizard that I just posted down here, it will show you the probability of profit on that trade, 76%. The amount of extrinsic that I'm collecting based on five contracts would be a little over $500. The P50, which is the probability of making 50% of max profit or collecting at least in this case, 60, um, 56 cents would be 76% as well. It also shows you the Delta on this platform and it shows you the beta weighted Delta. So being long, five of these J lizards and Intel is the equivalent of only being long five shares of spiders. Tasty is a very, Tasty Works is a very advanced platform. And Tasty Trade is our, is our network that supports everything that we do on the platform. Now, it's, this is a, a crazy short, you know, webinar session today. And I know that if you're interested in what I'm talking about and you have lots of questions, again, you can fire off the questions to Peter and Christian who are answering as many as they can right now, or you can just um, email me tonight at tom at tastytrade.com. And, you know, I'll get back to you and help you out as much as I can. We'd love to have you come over here and experience, you know, what Tasty Trade is all about and what Tasty Works is all about. And also to take advantage of the crazy amount of research that we do and everything else that we do here at Tasty from the technology we're building to the research. I mean, we have, you know, obviously an iPad platform, we have a mobile platform, Android and, and iPhone, we have web-based platform um, and, and so many other things that, that, that in this firm's, you know, whole ecosystem. But I want to show you that the layout, nothing changes. So for example, if I went down here to just as an example and clicked on Apple, right? So I just click on Apple. As soon as I click on Apple on my watch list, Apple pops in the top of the page. Apple position pops in over here. Apple activity, if there was any, would pop in here. There was small activity in Apple today in this account. And all my Apple Greeks for anything I want to do would pop in down here. Or, or all, the, all the analysis of a particular trade idea would pop in over here. All the different types of trades that we support, everything. All the different types of trades that we support in every account type, everything. But if you have trouble remembering certain things, we have all the spreads already built into the platform up here. The neat, another neat thing about Tasty is we have the implied volatility rank up here. We have the implied volatility over here. We have the expected move over here. And we have the earnings dates and dividend dates built into the platform over here. This happens to be an earnings date. You can trade any month any weekly, any basically, you know, again, we're the facilitators of opportunity. We don't care what you do. We don't care, you know, how you do it. We just prefer if you're, if you're being smart about this, that you follow the mechanics, trade small, trade often. That's kind of what we like. And the, another thing, beautiful thing about Tasty is we don't charge you for closing trades. So we don't charge you to open trades, not to close trades. So you know, our commissions are, are as low, if not lower than anybody. We also cap every, every single trade at $10. So every option trades capped at $10. So if you do a hundred lot, $10, a thousand lot, $10. So you can't get that price at any other brokerage firm. And if you're thinking, oh, I can get that price on the free apps, you can't afford free. Just trust me on that. <laughs> Sometimes you can't afford free. Anyway, I have pretty much exhausted down to my last minute here, um, uh, in a very short presentation about Tasty. It is so, it feels so good to be back at, uh, you know, a money show, even though it's a virtual money show, it feels so good to be back at the money show. We have built our business, started doing money shows in 2000 or 2001 in New York City was my first one. Done them for over 22 years. And um, the last two years, we haven't been on the road. So haven't had a chance to meet a lot of you in person. And I really miss that. And hopefully in 2023, we'll be back on the road um, and we'll have a chance to meet and to talk and to, you know, shake hands and, and shoot the crap, as they say. So everybody have a, 
have an amazing night. Enjoy the rest of the show. Who's ever speaking next? I'm not exactly sure. And um, just have a uh, have a wonderful rest of the week and good luck in the markets. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Tom, for that great presentation. And of course, another huge thank you to everyone in the audience for joining us. Be sure to stay tuned as we do still have more in store for you today. And to echo you, Tom, I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thanks so much, Charlie. Talk to you later. Thanks, everybody.